Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here and welcome to a tutorial on how to add in an animated power switch to your map. So this is pretty similar to the power switch which we get with the tools um, as standard, but there's a little bit more that goes on. So some effects will play, some lights will come on. Um, it just makes it feel a little bit more alive. Um, and credit goes to Vertice for this. So I've changed it slightly, the actual power switch. Um, I think I've added maybe like an extra light or something. Um, I did it quite some time ago. Um, but you know the original power switch which i got myself um, was from vertice so first things first is in the description below you'll find a link and um, that link will give you this uh, raw file um, within here you have two uh, files you have the power switch itself and then you have the script so what we need to do is of course put this into our black ops 3 root so i'm going to go over to black ops 3 um, and we'll go to map source prefabs zm and we'll go to my map name you can put this anywhere within prefabs really um, I just prefer to put them in map uh, specific folders. So I'm going to put the power switch into there. Next, I'm going to go back uh, back to the Black Ops 3 route. I'm going to go to user maps. Uh, I'm going to go to my map name, which is ZM test. I'm going to go to scripts, ZM. I'm going to put the second one in here. So that's the actual script itself. Now, next we need to, of course, make this script do something. You know, actually make it sort of working game so what we need to do is go over to our uh, .gsc file so to get to .gsc you go to your black ops 3 route you go to user maps you go go to zm you know your map name scripts zm and just as we did with the script there's a file here which is .gsc so zm test in my case .gsc open that up and you'll get and you'll, uh, you'll see this so i'm just gonna add one line in um, i'll leave this line in the description as well so you can copy and paste it if you want uh, i'm just going to put this under user map so just underneath here i'm just going to paste it in and it's just hashtag using scripts zm zm power switch animated nice and easy so we can save that next what we need to do is open up our zone file the easiest way to do this is just get your map and right click and click edit zone file that'll bring up this now just as the last one i'll leave a line of code in the description um, grab that and just put that um, bit about here. Um, pretty much anywhere in here will be perfectly fine. Um, just the script pass string line. So save that. Next, what we need to do is actually go into uh, our map and put the power switch in. So opening radiant. Um, we of course have our power switch. Um, I've made this map a bit darker. I realize it's pretty difficult to see um, everything else but but it does just because we you know, we have lights on this so I wanted them to be really easily seen so if we click on the um, the original power switch um, I'll open up the entity info and we can just change this um, you can of course also delete it and just go through your um, prefab browser if you want to uh, I'm just going to change it though uh, just a bit easier uh, I'm going to go back to prefabs ZM because um, we, we put it into our um, map specific folder and we'll grab power switch from there there we go um, I do realize as well that the power switch has the same name so this new animated one has the same name as the original one feel free to change the name of it if you wish um, that's not a problem just make sure that you know that you do select um, the correct one of course so let me just uh, that's actually already aligned that's great uh, yeah so let's make sure that you select the uh, the correct one so next I'm just going to go over how to sort of edit the uh, edit the light practice of this and kind of how it works. So um, you'll notice obviously it's got a few lights. Um, if I go to light state one, so without any power, there's no lights on. If we go to light state two where there is power now, um, you can see, you know, they've all come on. So uh, the way these work, these are through exploders. So if I go into the prefab, so enter prefab, um, and I go to my entity list, I have a bunch of lights. Okay, now all these lights are actually exploders. You can see they're all highlighted in uh, Exploder Manager. If you don't have this, just right click at the top and Exploder Manager. So, um, exploders are effectively just lights which come on um, on demand, quite simply. Um, you can tell them in script when you want them to come on and when you want to turn them off, for the most part. Um, so if you want to edit anything, of course, we can just select a light uh, and we can edit this as we as we would do with any any normal light. You can go over to your entity info and edit the properties over here. Um, if you don't see any lights on, 
Um, that isn't a problem. Um, they will still be working. You just need to go over to Exploder Manager. Uh, and on this, if I, if I stop um, all Exploders, you can see they turn off. Um, if I then right click on this and go to Play Exploder, they, they all come back on. So just make sure that they are playing, you know, they are all on. Uh, sometimes they don't always load in um, in Radiant. So that's how to kind of modify this. Of course, you can add more lights, you know, you can delete some lights, you know, kind of do whatever you want with them. Um, they are just regular lights for the most part. So that's how to actually edit them and how to obviously make sure that you can still view them. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, of course, save this. Um, I'm going to then exit out of, well, actually exit out of the prefab is probably the best idea first. I think you can save the actual map itself with our new animated prefab. Uh, I'm going to exit out of Radiant as well. So if we go, recording things down. So if we now go to our map um, here, we can select all three options because we need to be doing a full compile for this. Um, you know, we have changes in script and also uh, in the actual map itself. I'm going to build that and then I'll be showing you guys over in game what this actually looks like. Uh, let's go to the power switch. See, all the lights are turned off. You go up to it and we can turn the power. All the lights come on. Um, I realized none of the other lights come on. That's just because the map's been made darker. Um, I haven't changed any anything else. I did this dark map literally just for this power switch. Um, so you can see all the lights have came on. Um, the, the FX playing. Of course, you can change like the color of the lights, maybe you know how bright they are and whatnot. Uh, you can customize it to, to what your map needs. But well, that's pretty much it, guys. So, of course, any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you guys there. But other than that, that's been how to add an animated power switch. Bye for now.